cares in the affairs of this life. Amen. Everything on this earth is temporary. Everything here is temporal. It's not going to last, church. Amen. Only the things of God are going to last. Amen. There's coming a day when the Lord is coming back for his church. He's coming back for a people, for a bride who has made themselves ready. Amen. I want to do everything in my power, everything that I can. Amen. To be ready. I want to do everything I can to please God. Amen. I've got to cleanse up, cleanse out this old vessel. I've got to take this vessel and I've got to work on it. I've got to pray. I've got to seek God daily. I've got to let that flow of the Holy Ghost flow through me. Amen. To overflowing. Amen. Allow God, amen, to work on me. Hallelujah. I want to stay pliable in his hand. I want to stay moldable in God's hand. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want there to be anything in my life that's displeasing to God. Amen. Like I said, he will not take second place. Amen. He is a jealous God tonight. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. He is the first. Amen. He has to be number one. He's God. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I don't want there to be anything, man, no matter how small, how little it may seem. Like I said, it's the little foxes that spoil the vine. It's the little things that will trip you up. It's those little things that you think nobody knows about, nobody cares about. It's those little small things that will mess you up. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't want to die a spiritual death. I don't want to die, amen, spiritually and just fade away. Amen. But God has chosen each and every one of us. God has called us for a purpose. Each and every one of you tonight, amen, there is a purpose for you. Amen. God wants to use you for his purpose, for his glory. Amen. But he cannot use a vessel that's full of junk. He cannot use a vessel that's full of Amen. Of things of this world. Amen. But come out from among them and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. We've been promised, amen, a place called heaven. Amen. We've been promised, amen, a place. Hallelujah, Jesus. Where it's streets of gold, it's gates of pearl. We've been promised a place. He said, I go to prepare a place for you that where I am there, you may be also. Amen. And I'm looking forward to that day. I'm looking forward to that day that one day I'm going to hear him say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I want God to cleanse me. I want him, amen, to fill me to overflowing. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. If we could stand tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. I want my cup to be overflowing with God's spirit. Amen. I don't want, amen, there to be any, just a little thing, just something small to stop me from going to heaven. Amen. Heaven is too wonderful a place. Man, to not go. Amen. The Bible says there's two places. There's two choices that you have tonight. Two places. There's heaven. There's hell. There's not an alternative. <coughs> Hallelujah. And I'm not trying to scare anyone to the altar. I'm just trying to say, amen. Just get a hold of this. Amen. Just live a holy, overcoming life. Just give yourself to God. And let God just fill you with his spirit. Amen. Like I said, whenever I'm at work, whenever I'm in the store, wherever I'm at, I want people to see God in me. I want them to say, hey, there's something different about that man. I've got to ask him. I've got to find out. Amen. What does he have? Amen. I want there's something about him. Amen. I want them to have a hunger. Amen. When they look at me, I want them to hunger after Jesus. Amen. I want them to, amen, hallelujah, to see Christ in me, the hope of glory. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. If we could just lift our hands and pray tonight. Jesus.